tips for overcoming your fear of flying, why it happens, and more. Let's learn more about it. Subscribe for more informative videos. Click like button if you like the video. And don't forget to comment your suggestions. As humans, our relationship to flight has changed dramatically in the last century. Air travel has developed from a fantasy into a common and widely used mode of transportation. According to a report in the journal Research in Transportation Economics, air travel is safer in terms of fatalities than any other common mode of transportation, including cars, ferries, subways, trains and buses. Still, there are moments that make even a seasoned traveler a bit uneasy. When the wheels start running down the tarmac or you hit a bad patch of turbulence, it's not uncommon to grasp the armrests a bit tighter. These moments of feeling jostled or unsettled are usually short-lived, and they pass once the moment is over. That is, unless you have an actual fear of flying, known as aviophobia. Sometimes, a fear of flying is not due to the flying itself but stems from related factors, such as, a fear of being in an enclosed space, claustrophobia, a fear of crowds, enoclophobia, a fear of heights, acrophobia. There are several possibilities for what contributes to your fear of flight. It could be caused by a single direct influence or a combination of factors. A direct influence might be a particularly bad flight you experienced or a connection to someone who experienced a dramatic flight incident or aviation event. Tips for conquering fear of flying. Stay centered. Breathe deeply for four counts, and then release for six. Find a focus. Cross your ankles and cross your hands in front of your chest. Breathe deeply while resting your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Eliminate stressful distractions. Lower the window shades so you're not distracted with moving elements. Anticipate your anxiety. Do mindfulness and meditation exercises daily a week or two before a flight. Be prepared with soothing elements. Find things that help you stay focused and less anxious. Find music that is soothing. Pack snacks that you enjoy but also make you feel good. Stay away from things with sugar, which is a stimulant. Remove other influencers. A phobia may increase when general anxiety is heightened. It may be helpful to remove additional anxiety-inducing elements, such as caffeine, energy drinks, and any other stimulants. Locate your fear. Do you fear loss of control? Is it a fear of death? Is it claustrophobia? Different triggers require different things to help soothe them. If facts about aviation safety will make you feel better, read up on those before boarding. If claustrophobia is a trigger, talk to your airline about boarding early or getting an aisle seat. Release the fear. Many people with flight fears also have control issues. Think about releasing control of the situation to the pilot, a trained professional with thousands of hours of flight time. Treatment for fear of flying usually involves either medications or therapy. Doctors may suggest anti-anxiety medication. There are generally two types, one you take only when you encounter triggers for your stress, and another that you take on a regular basis. Doctors may also suggest psychotherapy, including exposure therapy, hypnosis, modeling, talk therapy. Aerophobia is typically treated with therapy, medication, or a combination of the two. Anti-anxiety medications can help manage symptoms before and during a flight. Exposure therapy is commonly used to treat aerophobia, by allowing an individual to become gradually more adjusted to the ideas and sensations of flying. Thank you for watching. I hope it was useful for you. Please subscribe my channel for more informative video.